Hello! My name is Navigator. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Fallout as a whole in 2024. Obviously, it's the new year, and I figured this would be the right time to kind of talk about what we have in store for 2024, and it seems like there's actually going to be a lot regarding the Fallout series as a whole. Starting off, I want to say that a couple of these points I'm going to be talking about, I uh, kind of got the idea from, from an article by HardcoreGamer.com titled Fallout 76, A Thrilling Journey into Appalachia's Future. And as always, giving credit where credit is due, I will have that article linked below. I'm not going to be reading it word for word, but they do have some points that I didn't really know about, so I wanted to make sure that I kind of shouted them out a little bit. All right, so the first thing that they talk about, and something that is very obvious as it just kind of was breaking news, is the fact that we are going to have kind of like a map expansion update uh, very soon, I, maybe next year, very early next year, or hopefully later this year, although I'm not too sure off the top of my head if they, uh, you know, kind of had like a release date or release range. I don't know. And obviously I do have some NPCs in here. I apologize for them talking. But that update is going to be very big. Uh, it, I believe and I hope it is going to be an actual free roam open map that we can explore with our friends, unlike an expedition. But then again, I don't know. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm just happy to get anything. The number one thing, though, and this is just kind of coming from me, I'm a Boy Scout and Eagle Scout. I love just kind of, I would really, really like a like pure wilderness update. Something where, you know, there's not a ton of structures and it's just, you know, you're going through the woods. There's tons of enemies everywhere. Where that would be really, really cool, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Regardless, though, that is one of the biggest things coming, and something that is coming very soon, actually, is going to be part two to the Atlantic City update, and that is America's Playground. For my friend Monkey, and Monkey, I haven't talked to you in a while, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, I love you, brother, but he was actually telling me that uh, that is going to open up New Jersey, or Atlantic City, as an open world map as well. Uh, he could have been incorrect, I could have misheard him, I don't know, but that is something that I'm hoping for, is being able to explore Atlantic City as we've seen it a little bit more openly, but yeah. There's already been some information about that update. I'm sure you can check out some data mines or information on some of the other great creators' channels here on YouTube. But yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. So yeah, we have a, at least two updates coming uh, very, very soon, and one that is going to be coming in March, once again, that being America's Playground. Moving down here, though, uh, I want to talk about something that makes me very excited, and that is the fact that Bethesda is going to be increasing the frequency of, uh, what is it, seasonal events. I almost said public events. I apologize. But seasonal events like the Mothman Equinox, like Fosh, not like Meat Week, stuff like that. Although the one caveat I would say is that I kind of hope that they only have Fosh not once a year. It really does make it special when it's once a year. But it is still cool having those seasonal events coming more often. Uh, typically, they stay around for at least a week or two. So that'd be really cool to get maybe one seasonal event a month uh, for like a week or two. That would be very... Well, I guess the word I'm trying to say is that would come in clutch, kind of keep the, uh, the energy flowing, the juices flowing out here in the wasteland and of course um with that i'm hoping they add some new rewards to those events moving on though something that is also going to be added hopefully uh it's, and this is all pretty not so much speculation but basically just you know we have like ground floor information on this uh with the seasonal update and with the fact that there is now going to be a focus on builders and adventurers and i do want to read this piece from hardcore gamer because i want to get as much information to you guys as possible but they say bethesda game studios is dedicated to enhancing the fallout 76 experience for both seasoned veterans and newcomers alike and to the oh, jesus I keep, I keep wanting to say 2024. I don't know why I'm doing that. In 2024, the game will receive several additional features and improvements uh, tailored to benefit avid builders and intrepid adventurers. I would probably consider myself the latter as opposed to the prior. Uh, whether you're a seasoned wasteland wanderer or a recent escapee from the confines of Vault 76, there's something for everyone in this upcoming year. So that'd be cool. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe increase budget and shelters. Hopefully, that would be nice. And then the adventurers part, I'm just kind of hoping that they add more locations. I mean, the map still has some areas that they could add stuff in, and I would love that. I was very happy with the Atlantic City update when they added the new locations, even though they are pretty bare bones, and I'm sure a lot of you guys were as well. Uh, I think in one of my very first videos on the channel talking about what to do when you're bored, I said that the number one thing to do, and my number one favorite thing to do, is to go out into the wasteland and just explore. You always find something new. That is the heart of this game. Not only this game, but all of the Fallout games. It's just walking around and checking out the wasteland. And hopefully they kind of uh, improve and capitalize on that. 
All right, another big obvious thing that uh, everybody's really been talking about as of late is the Fallout TV show. Now, we know that the Fallout TV show is going to be coming out in April, and that's off the top of my head. If I am wrong, please do correct me, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming out in April. We know it's going to be set uh, in Los Angeles, and hopefully there's some decent kind of lore and stuff like that. I've heard mixed opinions on p how people are going to like the show, but at the very least, at the very, very least, the fact that they are making a Fallout TV show means that there will be more people interested in the series. There will be more attention towards Fallout, and us as 76 players who play every day will be able to capitalize on what I am almost certain is going to be, uh, you know, rewards and events related to the TV show regardless. We've already had a reward from the TV show added to the game, that being the vault, oh, I forget the name now, I think 70 something? I don't know. But there was a vault suit they added that was in reference to the show. But yeah. I think the Fallout TV show is going to be a great thing for the community. It will shed even more light on it and hopefully bring more players out here to Appalachia. And there we go. Actually, there is one more thing that I did want to say. Alongside the Fallout TV show, in April, we will see the release of Fallout London. Now, me personally, I am a console peasant. I love Xbox. I don't really plan on getting a PC anytime soon. But at the very least, that means that I get to, you know, go on YouTube and watch other creators play through this entire story. So even though, uh, I mean, if you, the point I'm trying to make here is that if uh, you're on PlayStation or Xbox, probably going to be a while, if ever, till we get to play Fallout London. But we can still watch others play it and we can get that story story, and I know for a fact that game is going to be awesome. I remember watching, uh, ooh, I forget the guy's name, it's like a three-letter thing, starts with an N, he plays Elder Scrolls all the time, but he played like a part one, like a beta, of Fallout London, and man, it looked awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So at the very least, as well, if the Fallout TV show is a bummer, we'll have Fallout London to make up for it, because that is going to be a banger. Quick recap here, we talked about the Shenandoah update, which is going to be coming hopefully later, later this year. Uh, the March update, which is going to be the America's Playground addition to the Atlantic City Expeditions update thing, I don't know. Uh, we're going to have uh, more improvements for builders and adventurers, although we're not exactly sure what that's going to be. We're going to have increased seasonal events throughout the year, which will be wonderful. The Fallout TV show, along with Fallout London, will be coming in April. And of course, there will be more surprises throughout the year that I cannot predict. But what I can say is that I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me over the past, I want to say, year and a half that I've been here on YouTube. And I'm very excited to start off uh, 2024 with a bang, and hopefully you guys are ready too. Guys, as always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care. And one other thing I could say, I'll see you out there in the wasteland.